Right, welcome back. Tap run time. We do this sort of once a year for the videos. The last time it was near Christmas, which wasn't the Christmas before, it's Christmas before that. And Adam had it as a Christmas bonus. But we're not near Christmas, we've got a spare afternoon. So it's going in my bank account. We've got all that stuff there. We were keeping the tails. We, the, the, we're doing about 19 videos at the same time. We've got the other van in there now. I've got all the wood still. We've got sawdust everywhere. We're just trying to make the use of the time we have. So we're gonna drag everything across there and have a look roughly how much we've got and then make a rough guess and have a look online how much scrap copper's worth. And I'm very tempted as well to scrap in one of my boxes of bright copper to see how much that's worth too. It's literally, the bo box is overflowed now for about, what, three months? Oh, the mic. This is, Fat Sam gave me this uh, a very long time ago. It was when he did all the hospital stuff. We tried to strip it, but from stripping it, it's such fine multi-core cable, it just doesn't strip on the cable strip. And it's obviously massive. So that's where that, whether or not they'll class that as an armor cable or not. We've got some armored here. Yeah, flex, this looks like 10 mil, three core. There's such short runs, it's absolutely pointless. That's about 10 kg, so. Is it? I'd say so. Look how sunburnt you are. Hello. Yeah, show everyone your stomach. He fell asleep yesterday in the sun. Look at that. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, mate. So this is how much stuff we have. This is heavy. Look how many tails are in here, look. Through like loads of boards. Oh, here you go. Normally what I would do if, oh God, I feel sick. Normally, if you watch our past videos, my past videos, anything like 25 mil like this, which is easy to strip in a cable stripper, we would strip it down with a cable machine and we would turn it into this so I could then smelt it down and make ingots. But the price of gas, and it's not, uh, when I convert this from this into a copper ingot, I don't know where any of them are, um, it's not cost effective whatsoever. With the price of gas and how much it costs at the moment, it's not cost effective because I'm never going to sell these bars. I always plan to try and uh, CNC the top of them, stamp a logo, make 10, sell them to you guys as like limited edition merch, which is like, well, one of 10 really, um, but I still not got around to it, but I've got over 10 bars made. So this sort of stuff and this. Yeah, normally one, we would strip that as well. Yeah, well, so that's 10 mil, isn't it? Yeah, it's 10, 10 mil. So we're just going to scrap it all and we're going to do, I'll do this box as well and see what that's worth. And then I'll let you know in a minute what the price is at the moment. Right, so maybe the officer just text me. So Adam's dad is a mechanic and he has exactly the same van as me. And with that, uh, the Ford Transit Customs are renowned when they hit a certain mileage. The cam belt is a wet run cam belt, is that correct? Yep. So it runs around in an oil tray, which is rubber, running around an oil tray, which is the cam belt. And uh, it's recommended when the van, because my van, believe it or not, has hit 140,000 miles. And uh, that's one reason I managed to buy it, because it was high mileage at the time, which is why I got such a good deal on it back in the day. But Adam's van's, uh, dad's van has just blown up because the cam belt went when he was on the motorway, which then lost pressure to the brakes and he had no brakes on the motorway and the engine blew up because obviously it was all seized. So I really don't want that to happen to mine. So I've just got a quote from a Ford dealership for £755. Uh, hopefully that's including that. Well, I can claim it back anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get that booked in as and when to get it changed before the van blows up and potentially me and Adam aren't here anymore because you lot would all miss us too much. Yeah. Just have my gravestone, just one massive copper ingot. So if you haven't seen the video before, I'll link it below now and this is the card for it. But I've just looked on Google and bear, so bright bare copper, which is that, is coming out at £4.45 max a kilo. And then insulated wire, which is all of this, is coming out top end at £1.80. But the last video we did, for that bucket and a little bit extra, it was £220-ish. You have to watch the video. 110 kg-ish which was 220 pounds. So let's get this in the van. Let's take it over there. Let's get it weighed. If you're into it, little gambling guys, put your bets below and you won't win anything, but the glory, the glory in the comment section. I'll give you a high five. You'll give them a what? Oh, what? Wow. So last, oh what, sorry. Last, last time me and Adam did this, he bet me that this wouldn't fit in the van and I sorely lost, didn't I? It was like millimeters with the door to shut. So. Yeah, front end up, lift the other end up, yeah. You watch the woods expanded now, they won't fit in. Yeah, fact. There is a lot of, I honestly think this is a lot more than there was last time, because I've stood on this about six times mm. with my 12 stone body weight. You know what I mean? That's weird, isn't it? Don't weigh me in, you get all the money, I'm too heavy. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. 
That's like I almost made that. To the precision. Oh, delicious. You ready? No, no, no. It's going to get all this. Adam's shifting van forward so we can get this next to it. It's one of the best things I've ever made for this unit is these, this table and the other one with the big... Where's he going? Christ on a bike. Come back. Adam's just gone and washed the van. And he did a solo video on washing the van. And uh, I've never seen so many watermarks. I, will, I won't ask him to wash it again, let's put it that way. But I won't crush his hopes and dreams and tell him into his face. But uh, yeah, the only thing that does look good is the tyres. Hey, look at that. Oh, that reminds me of. So, something your mum's kind of draw. What? Oh, what's he saying? Oh, that's got locks. You're 69. Right, we're back. We got all the stuff. As you can see, I cried a little bit because we I didn't realize how many tails are in there. And from what this says here, it makes complete sense. If you have 25 mil tails or 16 mil tails, which I had a lot of then, the bright copper we had weighed out to uh, 12. Cheeky bugger. It said the 12 point, what? anyway, it's pretty it down to 12. Yeah, uh, true. It comes down to 12 kg, and 12 kg got me 68 pound uh, just in bright copper for 12 kg, which is really, really good. So if you do have tails, 16 mil, 10 mil, I would say if you've got the capability of stripping it, strip it down, put it into a box separately, save it up till Christmas because it's worth four times, well, it's about well, four times more. If you look there, look, so bright copper is worth 5,700 per ton, and then normal copper is 1,100. 1, yeah, so, so it's, it's five times. Yeah, yeah, it's five times more. So it's it's well worth stripping it and keeping it. Uh, this time, I haven't done. Next time, we'll know for next Christmas. We'll keep it every well, bit of going in my little pocket uh, now, in the back of my car. <laughs> filling the little van up. Yeah. Um, armor cable, we had 32 kg of it, which equaled out to 37 pound, which is just trash. You get one, 1,150. Hang on, did you look at that one for 1,150 for the copper, for the cable? Yeah. And then household grade one cable, we had 117 kg, which is literally three kg off what we had last time. No, no, seven kg more, it was 110 yeah. Yeah. Uh, to 216 pounds. So a grand total of 321 pound for what is collecting the cable we take out of people's houses and then spending not even an hour going to the tap man and weighing it in. So it's well worth it. Unfortunately for Adam, that's now paying for the day that we've had not doing anything. Uh, so, uh, but Christmas time, we'll save it for the rest of the year and we'll get some stuff weighed at Christmas. Adam can have that again for a Christmas bonus on top of everything else he has off me. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye bye then. Bye.